I'm Jocelyn Wybird. I'm Director of the Language Centre at the University of Cambridge. Well, my main role as Director of the Language Centre is to promote access to language learning for any member of the university community. And that could be for personal, employability reasons, for field work to enable research, um, etc, 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 and lots of motivations. So I do a lot of advocating the importance of language learning across the university and trying to provide uh, opportunities in all sorts of different flexible ways for people to learn languages. The other aspect of my role is promoting our services to support international students um, who are often engaging in academic work through the medium of English for the first time when they come to university. I have a national role which is that uh, I'm currently the chair of something called the University Council of Modern Languages, which represents language departments in universities across the country. And so in that role, I'm very much advocating um, languages, higher education languages, lobbying, standing up for the sector. And I also chair something called the Roots into Languages National Advisory Board. Roots is a national project where universities work collaboratively for outreach to schools to promote language learning in schools. And I feel, I'm very, very active in trying to uh, promote the take-up of languages by school pupils. My background is that uh, I'm a language teacher by training, um, but I actually uh, was very lucky to grow up in Italy bilingual as a child. And then I studied French and German and Latin at school. Uh, I'm currently learning Spanish, so I've been adding languages. And I speak Nepali because I went to work in Nepal for a couple of years. So I'm very much, my background is as a multilingual person, uh, as a teacher of languages. But before I became a teacher uh, more formally, um, I worked in the charitable sector and in the uh, financial services sector at various different stages as an international project manager and in doing development work in Nepal. So I've got quite a varied background of using languages in professional as well as personal contexts. Do you know, apart from languages, French, German and Latin, of course, maths was one of my absolutely favourite uh, subjects and I did maths to A level as well. Well, um, I took A-levels in French, German and Maths and I came to the University of Cambridge to study uh, Italian and French for my degree and spent a year in Sicily for my year abroad uh, teaching English as a language assistant in a secondary school. And in a sense, I think studying languages, studying cultures just became my passion and led to all the other opportunities that I've had in my life. I wouldn't have gone to work in Nepal uh, to do voluntary work on a women's education project if I hadn't had the confidence from the year abroad, which is part of being uh, a languages undergraduate. But I also realised when I was doing business in Italy that knowledge of Dante, Italian politics and society, uh, North-South divide issues in, in Italy, uh, opera, all sorts of aspects of Italian culture were absolutely essential for the conversations that I had uh, with business people. And ultimately, having spent a bit of time in business and international project management, what I realised was I just wanted more people to learn languages. So that really led into what I've been doing ever since. Well, apart from the languages, which <laughs> I do, of course, and, and, and that's absolutely essential. Um, do you know what? I think the maths that I learned at school was probably some of the most useful stuff. I don't think I realised it at the time, but I now deal with uh, statistical analyses of data related to our courses, our take-up trends. I deal with budgets and budget planning and finances for my department and so on and so on. And actually... Although Excel and calculators can do a lot for you, you need to know what the formula should be, what it should look like. If you're going to calculate a percentage trend difference over a number of years, you actually need to know how to do that. And some of the math that I learned has been incredibly helpful. Not necessarily the differential calculus, but um, you know the, the overall principles of being highly numerate and understanding how to manipulate numbers in a number of different ways absolutely invaluable. 
Well, my area is very specialist. It really is about language teaching and learning. So I think if you're passionate about learning languages and then uh, think that you'd like to pass that passion on to other people, then do a degree in languages, train to be a language teacher, and go and pass that on to the next generation. That's really the best advice that I can give you. But I think don't see languages just as a vehicle of words and sentences and so on. See it as a window on a culture. Grab the opportunity to go to other countries to find out about other cultures. Because actually, the real fascination with, uh, with languages comes from the doors that they open. Um, and, and so that's what you really want to be embracing. Mm -hmm.